Welcome back to VideoMinistry.com, to another blog and to another podcast. Welcome to those who access the podcast through Apple Podcasts, YouTube, Rumble, and Spotify. Today we continue in our study of the book of Genesis. We're in chapter 11, verses 1 through 5, which reads, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech, and it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. That's Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 through 5. Today we transition into Genesis chapter 11 within a short 100-year period after the flood. The world had walked away from the knowledge of what happened and had not only rejected the God of the Bible, but also the lessons learned from their recent history. They had actually come together to work against God and to establish their own society and religion apart from Him. In verse 1 of today's passage, we read, Now the whole earth had one language and one speech, There are two key words used here that are used to describe that everyone on earth at that time was able to communicate most acutely with one another. The first of these two words is the word language, which is the Hebrew word that literally means lip. They had the same lip. The second word is speech, which means words. The whole earth had one language and one speech that enabled them to be unified apart from God. They did not understand that communal living is not doable apart from God. In verse 2 of today's passage, we read, And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. The people moved from the east. That is a way of saying that they went away from God's presence. Just as man was cast out east of Eden, just as Cain moved further east of Eden to the land of Nod, they all wandered away from God. The land of Shinar was the same area that Cain dwelt in before the flood, and it is the same area which has been in complete spiritual opposition to God since. It was in Shinar where false religion got its foothold through Cain. In verses 3 and 4 of today's passage, we read, Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. The Tower of Babel was a religious building intended to expose man to the mystery of the heavens and to God. That, perhaps, is what is meant here by the statement that they intended to build a tower with its top in the heavens. They were impressed by its greatness architecturally. That is, it was a colossal thing for the men of that day to build, and they may have thus thought of it as reaching into heaven. But they also unquestionably were thinking of it as a means of communication with God, 
of maintaining contact with him. These two verses point us to every false religion that has ever existed. The first six words of verse 3, then they said to one another, reveals the guts for false religion. The emphasis is placed on man and his ability to make a tower in order to reach God's status. These people had rejected God's way of approaching him, and they decided that they could make it up into heaven on their own. This was the point of their tower. From the day they decided to build the tower onward, the motto of humanity has been, let us make a name for ourselves. This motto reveals one of the basic philosophies of humanism, which says, glory to man in the highest, for man is the master of all things. That is the central thought of humanism. Glory to mankind. The saying, all paths lead to God, finds its origin here at the Tower of Babel. God rejects this idea and has always. The biblical model reveals man doesn't work his way back to God. The biblical model reveals that God must come to man, otherwise man is doomed by his sin. In the land of Shinar, which was away from God, the people had determined that their way to God was the right way, so they built a tower to heaven. This is exactly what every false religion on earth has in common, works-based salvation. Not only were they defying God by attempting to work their way to him, but they were also attempting to defy him should he ever presume to go back on his word about flooding the earth again. The problem with religion is that the people of the world are really motivated by their own glory, not God's glory. They thought that if they built this tower, they would somehow be able to be like God. And they succeeded through uniting their efforts. The only problem was that it didn't work. In verse five of today's passage, we read, but the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. When the Lord came down before the flood, a different type of terminology was used. Before the flood, there was still a place where the Garden of Eden was located. Before the flood, the Lord talked with Adam and Eve and with Cain. Before the flood, there were cherubim who guarded the Garden of Eden. Before the flood, God spoke with Noah in several different ways, and he established a covenant with him. And before the flood, the Lord was the one who shut the door to the ark. After the flood, Noah built an altar at the top of the mountain Ararat, and the smoke of the offering soared even higher to reach the Lord. His presence since the time of the flood has been symbolically on high. So now, with the building of the tower, the Lord descended to bring about judgment and to inflict discipline on those who had so quickly and so unashamedly been disobedient to the commands they were given through Noah. God told them to fill the earth, to populate the earth. Sinful man's response was one of defiance. They gathered together to build a city that reaches all the way up to God. It wasn't that building a city was wrong. It was that they built a city for themselves exclusive from God. There have been many archaeological discoveries that revealed that these seven level towers made out of mud bricks called ziggurats. These towers were used to worship the zodiac 
and they use them to look to the stars for direction and for meaning and for definition. Instead of looking to the God of creation, instead of trusting him for their future, they look to creation for direction. But the Lord came down to see the city. And in so doing, man was held accountable. My friends, I trust this blog and this podcast are helping you in your walk with the Lord. If I can be of further assistance to you, shoot me an email at beyoungministry at gmail.com. Hey, have a great day.